Right then, Peter, there was someone in the background there hovering over the interview. It wasn't for me. It was for Shaved Yeah. <laughs> Bonjour, everyone. Welcome back to the Magpie Channel TV. Friday night dinner. That's what we're doing tonight. We're going to meet up with the new Cash United supporters group from America. Loads of fans are coming over, about 30 of them from different states for the Chelsea game tomorrow. They're going to be in tune for the PSG game. Obviously, that's a way, but they're going to have a good time, hopefully celebrating with Geordie's midweek next week. I'm meeting up with my good old mate, John O'Hare, who I met at the Brighton game last year. And we've taught each other now and again on uh, Twitter and stuff for a while. You're a great bloke, John. So he's uh, asked me if I wanted to come along for their meal out and a few drinks beforehand. And who <laughs> am I to say no to that? It'd be very rude of me to turn down a few beers and some nice scran on a Friday night before the game against Chelsea tomorrow. So what I'm going to do is have a chat with a few of those fans, get their feelings on New Cash United and, and a bit of background story on the uh, fan base over there in America for the tomb. Before we do that, we meet up with someone now who I think thinks he's American, think he likes American football more than English football. There he is, look. Yeah. Bonjour. Captain America that? himself. Yeah, yeah. We were joined here by Shade, so Kyle Jordy on Twitter. You might know him. Popular. Been going <laughs> for years, mate. You've been following me, I've been following you for yeah. quite some time. You've been on some other YouTube channels in the past, like Gallagher Shots and stuff. We're here tonight, we have a nice little beer in the pub around the corner there, the Bridge Tavern, on the quay, say, before we head for a meal. What brings you back to the tune, mate? San Diego <laughs> match, uh, quality hoodie. Uh, well, first off, it's it's a pleasure to finally meet you in person. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been great. Um, I'm here for Chelsea and Man United. Why else would I be in Newcastle if I wasn't here for a match? Not a win. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I do come out here for a lot of weddings. Uh, but no, 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 I'm here, for, I'm here for Chelsea. I'll be at Man United. I'll be watching PSG in town with all my mates, so. Yeah, so it's just a football trip this time. Nice, uh, man, because there's a lot of Americans in that ball there, isn't there? I know, I love it. Like, yeah. It's amazing. Like, um, you know, we've got a really, really good network in, in America, and we all work together to, to not only, you know, promote our team and, and share our passion, but, like, you know, bring as much awareness to Newcastle, not, not just the club, but the city, as, as we can. So we all, we all talk regularly, right? Mm -hmm. And so it's just crazy that we've got Philadelphia, we've got Oklahoma, we've got <laughs> San Diego, we've got Canada. Like so many people are in town this weekend, and it's kind of it's it's crazy because we all we all met in person for the first time at summer series. Mm. A lot of us hadn't met in person before, and then now we're all in the tune together. Like it's just like the perfect kind of like cherry on top of this relationship we've all created together and this network we've all done. You know, just because we love Newcastle, like it's, it's awesome. brilliant that there's that there's supporters that have kind of rejoiced, I guess, from all these different states to support Newcastle and the effort it takes as well. A couple of new customers. I mean, it can't be cheap for all these flights and time off work and everything. No, um, it's definitely, uh, I would argue, more expensive for us West Coasters. <laughs> uh, it's not, uh, it's not easy. And then, uh, especially when the day before your flight it gets cancelled, which happened to me and Eddie. Uh, uh, yeah. So it, it ended up, we ended up having to like, have four layovers to get here uh, in time man. to make everything. Um, but I was like, I wasn't going to miss any of the events. Like, I wanted to obviously come to the social today and then. The matches tomorrow we would have been fine for that but yeah it's expensive and i mean you know in running the supporters group too like i won't lie like it's a bit of a thankless job at times like um but you know you don't care like we don't care like we love newcastle like we love newcastle united like i'll do whatever i have to do to make sure that there's a presence for newcastle in san diego and this season particularly we've had a tourist either from newcastle or somewhere in europe that supports newcastle at every single match um so far which I just think is one i mean it's san diego it's a big tourist area but i love that people can go to what i would argue is one of the best cities in the world um enjoy the weather and they still have a place that feels like home mm. um because that's what we try to replicate that's what i try to replicate like i lived here i love the geordies i think the geordies are the best people in the world yes and, they are you know they, <laughs> they fucking are um, <laughs> and uh and you know i just try to I try to replicate that Geordie hospitality that was given to me when I moved here over there when people come to visit. Yeah. And, um, yeah. You mentioned the uh, four layovers to get here. We were talking in the bar before. You also had a little bit of a nightmare in the summer series, didn't you, to try and get there? What was it, an 18 hour drive? Yeah. That open training <laughs> session. Tell people about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we had originally planned to fly to Philadelphia and then do a road trip. It was me and two, other, two, two of my other mates. Do a road trip to support all the, you know, go to every match and support the club. And then in the midst of it, when we were in Philly, we got invited to the open training. And we were like, well, we're not gonna miss that. And so we canceled our Airbnb, drove 18 hours. Um, a bunch of people that will see this probably followed me on Twitter while I was doing it because I was tweeting about it all the time. And 
we're on BBC for it and everything like that. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, BBC had us on. They were like calling us while we were in the car on the road. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we drove 18 hours, but then we got to like go to an open training, which, you know, I know that that's not a thing in Newcastle anymore as, you know, like, like it was in the 90s. And I would argue that it's never been a thing in America for us. So like to be able to go to that was a once in a lifetime experience. Um, I would have driven 36 hours for it if Absolutely, I had to. Absolutely, yeah. you seen, you met everyone, didn't you, Steve? You know, all that yeah. players. I met everyone except Eddie, but yeah, I, I met everybody else. But Hopefully yeah, you see you again, mate. <laughs> yeah, that'd be class. Again. That'd be class. I guess the best way to finish this off, mate, is go back to the beginning and, and, and why Newcastle, how Newcastle? Because you've told me your story, but tell people as well. Yeah, so, um, I mean, if you don't know my story, I, I came out here for uni. Uh, I did not have a Premier League club at that time, and, and uh, I was going to uni, I was playing rugby, and one of my mates on the team was like, you need to go to a Newcastle match, and so... I went to go see us play Norwich at home, uh, Chris Hutton's return. Um, it was when Alan Party was still manager. We had made Europa League for that season. So, I mean, I was spoiled during the Ashley era for mm. that to be my first season. Could right? have been what wish. Um, like, obviously, I know <laughs> how best. awful he is and everything like that. But, yeah, like, that was, like, an incredible season for me to be indoctrinated into the club for. And when I was at that match, Demba Boss scored that 1-0 goal. And when all of St. James Park went off, like, it was mad, mad. I was just, I was done. <laughs> I was done. She gets it. She knows what's up. Uh, <laughs> it was mad, brah. Uh, but, <laughs> but yeah, no, like when, when, when that went off, I was like, okay, I want, I want this forever. And yeah, from yeah, that you know, and unfortunately it was nothing but disappointment for many years yeah. after that. But yeah. you know, I, I, I stuck with it cause I, you can't not like, you know, um, you know, it's, it's your club. Mm. You know, I don't, I don't think I chose Newcastle United. Newcastle United chose me. That's right, man. Yeah. That's right. And uh, you're here for the Chelsea game tomorrow. You've got yourself a ticket. What's the score going to be? I mean, it's unfortunate that we are going through this injury crisis right now, um, especially when I'm coming out, selfishly. I'm not going to lie. Um, <laughs> but um, I was a lot more hopeful after Eddie Howe's uh, conference today. You know, Isak coming back. It looks like he's going to come back, so that'll be good. Um, it's unfortunate that we don't have Botman. Yeah, Chelsea have come into form, but let's be honest, they've been shit all season, and they can't be consistent. Um, I still think we win 2-0. Thanks, all, mate. That's all you're yeah. right. Enjoy your time uh, with yeah, you, yeah. mate. I'll be eating it tomorrow, won't I? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're you're yeah, it. Great stuff, to meet you, man. Right, nice yeah, meet thanks you. for having me. <laughs> right then, Peter, there was someone in the background there hovering over the interview. It wasn't for me. It was for Shades, yeah. <laughs> Joined by Newcastle United's Chief Commercial Officer, Peter Silverstone, who dropped by. Heard Shades' accent. Thanks for joining me, <laughs> Peter. Yeah, great to be here. Just great to hear that we've got our fans from very far away coming in to bring us a lot for the game tomorrow happy great to, to meet you great to meet you great yeah. to meet you as well you've made mate. quite the journey man there's, there's about 30 americans by the way Peter, around the corner of the pub brilliant from all over the states isn't it Fantastic. Yeah. tell them about how you've came here and everything let them know yeah 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 i mean um you know i'm in san diego we've got people from philly people from oklahoma um and we're all friends we all support newcastle in the states we all do everything we can to bring awareness and promote the club as much as we can. I run the San Diego supporters group. We've got the head of the Philadelphia supporters group with us, Oklahoma as well. And, and um, you know, yeah, we've all, I mean, I did three layovers to get here because I had tickets to a match. Like, and, That's amazing. and I, I had tickets. I wasn't going to miss the match. So I figured it out. And, and um, I mean, there's no place I'd rather be. Super. Oh, yeah. so, so great to have you. I hope you're uh, bringing all the luck tomorrow. Uh, I hope I'm bringing good luck. Yeah. <laughs> if, you're, if you're fit, you can play. Yeah. <laughs> Front, oh, I don't think you want me up front, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sure a lot of the American fans out there want to know, like, will Newcastle be returning? Obviously, they had the summer series last, last year, yeah. Well, we're looking to see where we can go and play in the summer next year. We keep wanting so, to engage come with to all San of them. Diego, come to well, <laughs> warmer than here for sure, a lot warmer. Yeah, we're not quite sure where we're going yet, but we, yeah, yeah we, we had such a great time in the States this summer. It was one we, of the best weeks yeah, of my life. You in Atlanta, we I was in, Atlanta, Philly, and New Jersey. I, oh, wow. I road trip. And follow the club Fantastic. the whole way, and it was really amazing. You could see it in the players, the coaches, and all the team, and all the staff behind. Just, just seeing how much we meant to loyal fans like yourself yeah. in the US it was amazing. So, oh, yeah. we will definitely be back. When we're back, I don't know, but uh, can't wait to come back. Oh, I'm looking forward to yeah, it. Great. I can't wait. Yeah. Great. <laughs> yeah. One thing I've got to ask you about is uh, I know you were influential in the Adidas deal to Arsenal. Now Adidas is taking over Newcastle. What can the fans expect? There's been a lot of excitement on my channel about these retro ranges and kit designs and everything. Can you let me know a little bit? Or, or? Yeah, I, th I think I said at the, uh, at the fan supporters uh, event on Wednesday, we're really excited to bring our retail business back in house again and uh, give our fans you know, what they want, which is great Newcastle United product. And yes, the, the kit designs for next year are, are going to be exceptional. Yeah, bringing back that history and heritage. 
And uh, yeah, as I say, wait and see. Fantastic. Look forward to supporting. Can't wait to blow my money on him. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Thanks for joining with me. Yeah, great. Great to see you guys. Thanks a lot for your support. Thank you. Great. What effort. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> right, and people now would join. Not even Peter Silverstone, any of that, right? We've got the real legend here. <laughs> But I'm John, not the legend. John O'Hare, <laughs> all the way from Oklahoma. John, yeah. I met you last year at the Brighton game. Oh, it was great. It was it a was great, great game. You were a good luck, John, that day. 4 1. Oh, Big it win. was great. It was great. Can we do it again tomorrow? Uh, yeah, yeah, we can. I, you know, with my head, I get a little pessimistic sometimes. I'm like, wow, we're so banged up. It's going to be tough. But at the same time, uh, uh, you know, we got enough people back to give them a hard game. So. Yeah, I I hope we can win two to one. Two yeah. to one, we'll two take that one. all day long. John, you've made another long journey. Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you won the lottery or something, but these these no. trips can't be cheap. Do you no. know all these flights and how long you take to get here? Some effort. So my bank account is going down, <laughs> down, down. I'm like, if I can just last until the bank is at zero, I've won. You know. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But uh, no, uh, yeah, it costs a lot of money. I've sunk a lot of money into it. But I, I'm having fun. I brought uh, my daughter mm -hmm. and her partner uh, for 12 years. They're, they're great people. They're enjoying their first visit. Nice. And uh, I brought my son, both my sons, last year. My wife's with me, Sue. Um, yeah, I like to bring people over, mm -hmm. and we just have fun. And what's good about tonight, you get to see it. We've got people from all the clubs. Amazing. We've got New York, Philadelphia, San Diego, us from Oklahoma so yeah and there's a camaraderie with those folks mm -hmm. yeah and we really got to experience in the summer series because we'd see the same people in every town you know when we went went to Philly went to Atlanta went to New York New Jersey it was great it was terrific because we walked into that bar there me and Keg and it, we I felt like I was in America it was nothing but American accents yeah. in there. Jenny, you've done a brilliant job of yeah. bringing the people together and, and really uniting the American supporters group I guess yeah we're gonna have like uh, after this, we're going to have uh, like 25 people to dinner. So we're really looking forward to it. And this uh, breaks the ice for tomorrow when we all get together and go to the match. Um, really looking forward to that. And then uh, Shade, who you just interviewed, yeah. right? We're hanging out. We're going to be here for the Man United game next week, too. Nice. So Make a big trip of it. Three yeah. games in a week. Yeah, Eight three week. games because in the midweek, We'll watch the Champions League somewhere here in Newcastle. Mm -hmm. We don't want to travel to Paris. We're going to hang out here nah, you don't with all the Geordies. Yeah. All the Geordies, yeah. yeah. Lastly, let's finish off on your favourite thing. Apart from obviously St. James Park and the football, about coming to Newcastle, what's your favourite thing? I just love walking around the city. I just love being here where my father was born. Um, yeah, I'm really relaxed here. I got a lot of friends here now. Mm -hmm. So I get to see Davy Craig, uh, one of my good mates. And uh, uh, these people from... Uh, uh, Ponty Land that are in the pub, mm. uh, uh, Andy and Lynn, uh, they're great people. And then we we always take a day and we go out to Tynemouth. Nice. And we just hang out on the on the. You know, even if it's cold and windy, it's like fun to be on the coast. Yeah. So especially for somebody like me, who lives about 1,300 miles from either coast. Wow. I mean, we're right in the middle of the country. So it's always good to get back to the fresh air and everything. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Love it. Well, it's great to have you here again, John. It's been a pleasure. To always see you, good mate. to see you, man. I hope you enjoy the game tomorrow and have some more big luck for yeah. the big three points. That's right. That's All right. right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, mate. All right, then, That'll do for us. I tell you what, we are heading over to a restaurant on the quayside now with the rest of the Americans. About 25, 30 of us going over there. But uh, we're going to enjoy that. I'm going to put the camera away. Have a good night. Take these Americans on a big night out, eh? Uh, show them what the tune's all about. Yeah, uh, shots of Jaeger. I don't know about that. Scared, <laughs> scared keg now. That really was good though, wasn't it, keg? Yeah? Good, good bumping in there. Peter Silver still there. He was friendly. Good crack in yeah, there. Yeah. Nice bloke. He was. He was dead sound. It was. It was kind of weird, like filming it. I kind of felt the presence over my shoulder. <laughs> Ghosts. Thought, I might, thought I might be more people. Want a selfie? Eh? Mm. Selfie? Do you want a selfie? We're ready. Start charging for them. Ah, he loves a selfie. Uh, and I just turned out to be Peter Simpson. What's going on here? But now they were dead nice. He was with his wife and his parents. They were all absolutely Brilliant. sound. Loved it. Uh, I'm sure it's his job literally to grow the commercial revenue and make the, the popularity across the world. And obviously, he sat there with shades, like with his American accent. Like that's what kind of drew him in. That's why they were sat over my shoulder, watching on, like just loving talking about Newcastle, America, and like that's what it's all about. That's why we need to grow this commercial revenue. 
across the world and get as many fans on board as possible it's awesome it's class Same, we're going to start putting American accents on aren't we yeah these interviews in the American channel it was just me and you talking still there's still on the Wall Street but you couldn't give a shit but okay we've got Chelsea tomorrow that's why all the Americans are here for a big week really Chelsea PSG Man United all in the space of seven days really yeah. how do you see tomorrow's game going quickly okay just a uh, score prediction and stuff oh it's, it's difficult with the injuries who knows what the team's going to be uh i don't rate chelsea at all but they've kind of come into some decent form no. so i don't know i'm a little bit reluctant to give a score prediction because I, I don't know how much i fancy it to be honest like, at home if everyone was fit i thought we would absolutely smash chelsea yeah. But I don't know, I'm a little bit nervous about it to be honest. I don't know. Uh, well, if you haven't seen the match preview with uh, Matisse, go check it out. Last night's video where I talked about St. James Park expansion as well. I said, I've got a feeling it'll be a draw, man. I think 2 2, or maybe I think a 2 it draws 1 win. A good team like Chelsea. Wouldn't be a bad all, result. All the injuries are fair, yeah. yeah. All right, well, let's enjoy the restaurant, eh, Keg? Hell yeah, have a good one. Cheers. Rest. See you